everybody, what is going on? My name is Kyle and I'm the Geek and Dad and today I've actually got a video for you. Yay! Uh, so this is the start of a new weekly series. Um, I'll call it my Geek and Haul because it's going to be about everything that I got this week pertaining to anything I've geeked out on uh, or over. So one thing that you will find as a constant is going to be comics, comics and more comics. Uh, watching Geek and Sundry's The Pool last week on Tuesday, I realized that now is the perfect time to jump in as there are a ton of, as you see here, number ones or zeros. Marvel's new universe is starting basically. And the new Batman and Robin uh, Eternal, Forever, Eternal, it's on number one as well. So that's the first thing. I'll be picking up comics on Wednesday, read them over the rest of the week and Saturday, and uh, I'll tell you what I thought about them, what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, um, which ones I actually liked and didn't like, period, um, and go from there. So there's the first part. The second part that's going to always happen, I, well, I say always, hopefully always happen, is hopefully I'll have the chance to get something new every week. So this week we have the Google Chromecast. Um, consider this a teaser. I'll be doing an unboxing and an overview video of it. Uh, I picked it up yesterday, haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I've been too busy. In fact, today after this, uh, my wife and I are taking my daughter out to the local pumpkin patch and we're gonna take pictures and have a family fun day. And then I'm gonna come home and try to get this edited and all kinds of other stuff. So yeah, it'll be fun. But anyhow, so like I said, this week on Geek and Sundry, Tuesday evenings they have their weekly comic book show. They call it The Pool. Um, I happen to be watching, and I happen to be watching at just the right time, where they were describing just how many number ones were coming out this week, and that there was just lots and lots that would be worth picking up, and that it was the start of the new Marvel Universe, and even though Secret Wars isn't over, it's starting, and so it's confusing, but it's okay, so... I decided, you know what, I'm going to jump into this crazy world. It looks like fun, it's something to do, it'll keep me reading, uh, it'll get me reading a little bit more, uh, which I don't do enough of, and you know, it's something I might be able to get my wife into as well. So with that being said, let me go ahead and show you what I picked up for myself. My wife has hers, uh, let me let me just start there. So for my wife, we got her Plutona, um, Thor, the, the new one, the female Thor, just because, and I'll probably read that next week too. Um, we also got her Bitch Planet, the first little set of five, I forget what they're called because I'm still a noob to the world of comics and, and all the lingo there. So we got her Bitch Planet, and we also got her Saga. And I can tell you that she's already finished Saga, and I think she's really enjoying that. Um, so hopefully next week I'll have time to, to snag that from her and, and give that a read as well. So that's what she got. Or that's what I got for her to read anyhow. Um, so what I got for myself was, we'll start with the one DC comic, my favorite superhero growing up, Batman and Robin Eternal. Um, at first, I had no idea what was going on. Once I got about halfway through, I settled in and realized, okay, I, I, I figured it out. And then by the end, I was completely surprised. And I am now very excited for the next one to see what happens. Um, the artwork in here is nice. I, I really enjoy it. It's a little dark, a little gritty, which kind of fits the theme of Batman overall, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what happens because that last scene uh, with Mother is very in in interesting and unexpected. And um, yeah, I want to know more. So. That's, that's Batman and Robin Eternal, number one. Great comic. Uh, this is one that I won't skip a week of because, like I said, Batman and Robin was, Batman specifically, was my favorite superhero growing up as a kid. So there's that. Next up on the list, um, and these are all ranked, by the way, in terms of my enjoyment and which ones I like the most. So uh, bear that in mind as... You as I go through these. Um, so number two on the list, The Amazing Spider-Man number one. 
uh, and this is what they call a oversized issue um, and it definitely is it's much larger and in fact um, it took me a little bit of getting used to but I realized that after the main story was over they introduce you to several other they kind of give you hooks uh, if you will for several other comics that are related to spider-man and in the spider-man universe and the spider-man world so um, this was fun it was witty it was enjoyable it was not what I remember spider-man to be in terms of growing up and all that fun stuff but that's okay I'm ready to learn like new characters or the newness of these characters that have been around for so long and I know that Marvel has to continue to sort of reinvent them and keep 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 changing with the times um, but I really enjoyed the reference of Peter Parker being the poor man's Tony Stark um, and everything that goes with that so and the fact that he's able to have a double at this point uh, I thought that was interesting too so uh, this was a fun book uh, the main story of Spider-Man himself it was completely enjoyable and uh, the my favorite uh, hook was for uh, Spider-Woman and the hook on here is she's pregnant and it just kicking butt still it just it cracked me up uh, my wife enjoyed it it was it was funny so I might have to pick up Spider-Woman just because it just looks hilarious next up the Invincible Iron Man number one uh, I like the fact that the outside cover could be a poster because it's a thicker uh, it's almost like a poster material um, so this was enjoyable there were the typical Tony Stark quibs um, the typical Tony Stark hitting on scientists that are hot and everything like that and um, even the typical jabs at how he has all these elaborate things set up and then has to nix them uh, because the person's not impressed um, the introduction of Dr. Doom Victor Von Doom at the end was really surprising so it has me really intrigued as to what the deal is with here um, especially because I don't have a good uh, background on Dr. Doom and Victor Von Doom so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes of this and where things go next up on my list Dr. Strange number one I think yes this was fun uh, it was interesting um, there seems to be an underlying theme of uh, the the hero hitting on hot girls and being misogynists, uh, which I guess it could get old after a while, but it's the way they do it, like, here, he's making out with a bad guy, basically, or trying to, you know, so, it, it, the tropes get old, but they're funny still, and I don't know why, maybe that's just the inner 15-year-old in me that comes out, uh, but... It was an interesting uh, read uh, as a character that I am not personally familiar with. Uh, it was fun. I like the premise behind it where he goes into these other worlds. That, so that was really cool. Um, and yeah, that's... The artwork on here, really, by the way, was really, really cool too. Um, it was very bright. It was very... It added to the strangeness of who he is as a character. Um, so that was another thing that I, I noticed, uh, especially about this one. Also on my list, Avengers number zero. I didn't have any clue what was going on until I got to the very end and realized, oh, it's just a bunch of hooks for a bunch of different Avengers. Um, I think the one Avenger that I'm looking most forward to seeing is bah, 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 the Uncanny Avenger um, because it's Deadpool. So. It was uh, interesting how they're trying to tie all of them together, and this is uh, Avengers number zero, so this is like the hook for all the other books, I think. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'll see what's available next week. Uh, I might pick up Avengers and we'll, or Uncanny, one of the two. I don't know which yet. I think time will have to tell on that. So there was that. And then last but not least was the most interesting book. Um, but the one that did not grab my attention the most. Marvel Point One. Um, the cover art on here is just beyond awesome. And in fact, the artwork inside as a whole is pretty amazing as well, in my opinion. Um, 
But the thing that confused me the most was what's actually going on. It looks like they're trying to assemble a team to fight, but then in the end, it's like someone won. So I'm not 100% sure what the deal is here. And the Hulk's now someone else. And I just, I don't, I don't know. It lost me. Um, and I think that's the problem is that it lost me. Now, it may have lost me because I don't know the backstory, uh, which is very, very much uh, a possibility. Um, or it could just be that it wasn't childish enough for me. I mean, as sad as that is to say, um, I don't know. Uh, I will say that of all of the, again, this was another hook for a bunch of other stuff. Um, of all the ones that were hooked in here, uh, I think that uh, Rocket Raccoon and Groot are going to be the ones that would be most likely to pick up. In fact, if they're out next week, uh, I probably will. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's uh, a whole new world for me to getting into comics, and it's something that I'm excited about. Um, they're fun, they're easy to read, I can read them, you know, while taking them. Take, dropping a deuce, if you will. Uh, and they're... <laughs> It's art, too, which is something that I haven't really paid attention much to lately, but as I get into YouTube and as I pay attention to, uh, you know, as I watch other things and I start to see fan art from shows like Critical Role, um, art's one of those things that's becoming more and more, uh, I'm, I'm appreciating it more. And so when I have covers, you know, like this, that are just awesome looking you know I mean it, it just looks great and when I have issues that uh, look as bright and vibrant as spider-man did uh, it just it's fun and I'm happy to be jumping in here and I can't wait to see what uh, what happens next week with all these so uh, let me know your thoughts on what a what you picked up what your favorites are and what you thought about uh, you know the storylines that have been hooked so far and you know where sh where else should I look for something new a um, hundred bullets is one that I went to get but wasn't in stock when I arrived she said that uh, my local comic shop said that next week they should have some so I'll probably pick some pick up that as well um, and yeah again look for something on this coming up too um, and, oh, one last thing, I figured I'd just drop this in there. So, I am doing a 30-day caffeine-free challenge. And as an avid coffee drinker and recently turned into a soda fiend, it's been quite interesting. I'm on day two right now. I started yesterday. I had a mild-ish headache throughout the entirety of the day. I survived, and I'm surviving so far. So, we'll see what comes of that. I'll, I'll check in with you all on that as well, just to let you know how it's going. Uh, any differences I felt uh, yesterday I was a little moody and uh, tired very tired so today I feel better already though I'm already not tired um, headaches sort of setting in but not really and it'll be fun so all that being said um, go find me on Twitter at geek and dad uh, and let me know what you thought about everything let me know what you're excited for in terms of upcoming comics or what your favorite comics are what your favorite series are um, if you've already picked up a Chromecast or you're looking to uh, let me know your favorite and least favorite things about that as well. And, um, yeah, I think that's about sums it up. And, uh, oh, feel free to comment down below. Uh, anything as well, because if you're not on Twitter, YouTube comments are just as viable of a place to have that conversation. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if I'm terrible. Uh, and if I'm terrible, let me know why and so that I can improve as a person and a YouTuber. So, all that being said, thanks for watching me. And until next time geek out.